my god guys what a great great session you know had a really good had a really good uh, session today it was good it was it was just good in case you guys didn't know just another update I did hurt my lower back I have a sciatic nerve my sciatica is hitting in it's just painful extremely it's just painful man but um I did really good today on my workout you know I am rehabbing my lower back I know how to deal with this I've done this before I'm gonna do it again I've had this once before I'm gonna do it again um yeah we're getting better man we're getting better slow and steady getting there today was woke up did some work came to the gym got it out we still have a long day ahead of us we're gonna do a lot of great stuff it was a good session I'm just happy I got the workout out of the way I'm gonna start doing a lot of also guys in order for me to get better I'm gonna start rehabbing my lower back obviously and I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna hit my posterior chain a lot harder right now like you saw me doing reverse hybrids towards the end I did like three sets of 15 high reps somewhat heavy it was hard but I'm gonna start hammering my legs, my posterior chain, my lower back so much harder right now. Cause that's what I did last time and I got out of it, out of the pain that I had on my lower back and I, I was strong. But this time, I'm gonna hit it so hard that when I come out of this pain, I'm gonna be even more stronger. I'm gonna, what, the roof that I was on, I'm gonna break that. I gotta break that plateau. Whatever it was, I gotta break that. I am gonna break it. You guys are gonna watch. It's not gonna be easy. I'm telling you getting stronger getting there as a natural pushing all these limits is not gonna be easy But we got to push it. You know, we got to like actually see what the hell we can do in anything for me I'm, I'm doing so much things right now in my life I'm just pushing myself in everything. I'm not comfortable But just push 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 and just go and do you know, you don't have to always be comfortable your comfort is like no Man your comfort zone is just really gonna kill you. It's gonna take away so much dreams it just it's not right you know sometimes your emotions will get the best of you sometimes your emotions will try to overwhelm you and it's okay if that happens or when that happens it's okay it's trust me I've had that happen to me when that happens just try to occupy yourself in something that is that you're gonna be able to do physically you know, but at the same time, you can think of it because when you're doing something, at least as a guy, for me, when I'm getting overwhelmed by my emotions, whatever, I focus on doing. When I'm doing something, that's when I can think about whatever emotions I had in my mind or whatever thoughts I had in my mind. Most times, it's just negative thoughts, negative thoughts. Maybe something else that someone told you, maybe your own negative self-talk, you know? Like, if you have some negative self-thoughts that come to you, you know, think of it like, like if you have your little your little brother or your little sister near you, would you tell them the negative self thoughts that you have? And would you like try to give that to them or something? You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't do that to them. You wouldn't talk to them in that way, right? You will talk to them in the most loving way possible, right? So do that for yourself. If you do that for your little brother or little sister, do that for yourself. Think of it that way. At least that's how I think of it, you know? And it always gets me out. It always gets me out. You gotta participate in your own rescue. Anyways, uh, I gotta go home, get, grab a bite. Also, I'm gonna go out with someone uh, just to, you know, spend some time. Stay tuned. The day is not over. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I went to get cupcakes. You can see. Uh, this girl that I'm talking to, I, I she was talking and I noticed that she likes cupcakes from this place. Oh my god, man. It's getting parking in this place was was oh like Jesus. Anyways, I got the girl her cupcakes. I'm going to go and just give it to her. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I almost fucked up. Yeah, in case you guys don't know, I've been talking to this girl. I don't know how it's going to go. She's not my girlfriend or anything, you know? I, I like her. I, I like her. I like what I see. I'm getting to know her. Taking my time, actually, in getting to know her. And uh, let's see where it goes. I don't even know how things are going to go. If, if it goes well, perfect. If it doesn't go, if it doesn't go well, it's still fine. Because, you know, I don't... I know how to move on. There's many options and stuff. Like, not to sound egoistic. Like, not to speak with my ego. But, yeah. If there's one advice I can give you guys... 
if you like a girl go and approach her don't just vomit all your feelings or whatever you know be a man about it just go approach her get to know her you know it's a test she's testing you you're testing her you're test driving a car you know see how the person is and then when things happen happen if not it's fine you know and do the little things i'm just glad i got out of that parking lot man it was pissing me off it was really pissing me off What is up guys? So today was a long day, very productive day. I just wanted to talk to you guys about some stuff. Recently, I mean, I've been talking to a girl that I like, that I think is genuine, but I don't know how she is. Obviously, I'm not going to judge the book by its cover, you know? I'm still getting to know her. <laughs> For the past couple of years, I've been closed off, kept myself closed off. I didn't really go out much or do or even live life, you know? It's been only two years since I've been doing YouTube and when I first discovered this, I was like, whoa, let me just dive deep and, you know, keep myself busy. When in reality, I was really ignoring my relationship with, like, my own self, kind of, you know, like my personal life. My personal life was not really improving that much. I'll be very honest with you. I was closed off because of my past, of the things that I went through and whatever it is, you know, and it's okay, you know, no, no one's perfect. That's how you become a man in this world. That's how you get somewhere, you know, you gotta be able to take a lot of L's in order for you to identify the W's. That's how I see it. And yes, for the past two years, I've been really closed off. My good friends, who knows, they, whenever they invited me to stuff, I wouldn't go. I, I was just keeping myself really busy because I felt like if I'm busy, I won't think about it, you know, about it. And yeah, but recently, it's been the past couple of months now, I've been really like opening up more, at least for my own personal life, you know, I'm improving my personal life, my relationship, going out, meeting a lot more people. Uh, if I like a girl, I'll go, I'll present her, I'll show her who I am, and if she likes what she sees, she's gonna decide, you know, and if not, it's okay. And in order for me to be able to even say this with this much um, confidence, if you want to call it, I had to really work on myself a lot, you know, emotionally, physically, mentally. And that is something that's never going to change. I will always work on myself. I will always work on myself so I can become the best version of myself and, you know, present myself in that kind of way, you know. Because to me, you kind of attract how you act. If you act like a complete jackass, you're going to attract jackasses, complete idiots, you know. So you guys got to keep all these things in mind, you know. Especially when it comes to like friends or even girls. You might like a girl. You might feel like society is telling you to do all of this bullshit. Man, screw all of that. Just be yourself. Really work on yourself. Work on your emotional self-control. You know, as a guy, you need to have a lot of emotional self-control. You can't let things get to you. You can't let things bother you like that. You can't let things push you, take you away from your mission and your purpose in your life. Whatever it is that you're going after, that is, you know. Always strive to be the best. When you go somewhere, try to approach that situation, where whatever it is that you're doing, in the best and most genuine possible version of yourself, obviously. Because that's how it is, you know. And I want to live a peaceful life. I don't want no drama. Drama-free zone. I, I just... I just want a peaceful life, man. I have no time to play games. None of that. Really, I really don't. I'm done. I'm just really done. A few days ago, I spoke to a friend. I told him, gotta learn to just let it go. Let go of our ego. Let go of all that crap. Just present ourselves. Be strong. Work on yourself, your mental health, your physical health, and your emotional health. You need to have all of these in check. I swear. That is how you're going to be successful long term and i know i will get somewhere in my life i know it and i will take myself there that's how much self-confidence or self-belief i have in myself and that is something that no one in this world will ever be able to take it away because i'm not going to allow them to take it away i don't blame other people when anything happens i blame myself even if someone takes advantage of me i blame myself because that is something i kind of allowed it you know 
And um, in deep down in my heart, I have all love and respect for everyone. Even if they hate me at this point in my life, I'm just letting it go. I'm really letting it go. You know? It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. It's really not. I want to live a life with love, laughter, and fun, and courage. That's it. <sighs> with that being said, I will see you guys all in my next video. This was just a real small talk that I had with you guys right here. I'm pretty sure you can take away a lot of value from what I said. Stay tuned guys, there's a lot better things coming. Support the channel, support me, support my Patreon, co comment down in every single one of my videos, like the videos, and yeah, we're gonna grow this channel and blow it up, man. We're gonna do it together. You, me. <laughs>